Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. Here we have a 2017 J Case assortment. This is the code for international packages. That means they will have uh, multiple languages on the back of the package. We're not going to know the case code by the uh, tag on the back. It's not like the USA packages to where we, we can tell from that code. Careful. Here we go. Now, let's take a handful out here. Oh, that's an awesome model. I'm, I'm looking forward to that one right there. Can't take out too many. Quad rod. It's a new model, but it does not say new model here because, like I said, international packages. Multiple languages on the back of the packages. And the hang tag, we can't tell the case code. Quad rod. Uh, I'm glad to see this back. Looks fantastic in red. Aston Martin 177 2013 SRT Viper. Let's take a closer look at those two. Oh, looking good. It was fantastic in uh, previous colors. Silver or whatever color you're going to call it. No tail light tampos, but look over the top. You have some pinstriping going over the top. Hot Wheels logo above the back window. Mm, headlights. Uh, I'll be getting a few of these, like that casting right there. And here is the 2013 SRT Viper. Lots of graf <laughs> graphics on this one as well. I was looking at all the black lines that they have on this for the graphics. And then I noticed that black line right there. Check it out. We have a little uh, problem with the casting. When it came out of the tooling, the metal cracked. Well, that's a nice one for the air pile. What else do we have here? There's the uh, 2016 Ford GT Race. Very low and sleek model. Brand new model this year. Not the first appearance though in a case. 15 Ford F-150. And Tour de Fast. You're out there with your bicycle. There's some uh, Mattel employees. They do some bicycle riding. So uh, they like that model right there. Chevy Blazer 4x4. Love these colors. And this is pretty cool. Gazella GT. Two samples of Gazella GT. You know why this one's cool? Check it out. They actually chrome the tires. It might be the first time that they chrome the wheels on a model. It's not, it's not just the inside rim. It's the whole side of the rim. That looks pretty cool. Green. Green and silver. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Like those chrome reels. I wonder if customizers are going to use them for certain uh, releases. I, I don't, they kind of like rubber tires customizers, so I don't know. But then again, you know, sometimes people do uh, some pretty unique things. Here's another Corvette C7. Is this the same one? No, it's not the same. Sorry. Corvette C7 Z06. And it also has black decorations. Has decorations at, on the back, Corvette logo, got some lights, headlights as well, looking pretty good. That one got that one got a nice treatment. Factory Fresh, and someone explained to me that Factory Fresh is more just a simple colors, um, because I was wondering why does the custom docks and the Fuguzi, why is that in the Factory Fresh line? It didn't even come from the factory. It's a custom car. Here you have the H2 Go in yellow. Here's a Hot Wheel, Hot Wheel, I mean Motorcycle, Ducati, $11.99, Panigale. Hey, Tank Nader's back. Works pretty good on the track. He's fast, too, as a matter of fact. Time of Taxi, people are liking that because of his appearance in the video game. 15 Mazda MX-5 Miata with lots of decorations as well. Licensed logos, Eibach, E I. Looks like E I B A C H. That's a license logo on there. I don't know if it's a, yeah, right there. I Box Springs. Pretty cool. It's nice to get license decorations on the models. And license decorations on a licensed model, as a matter of fact. Here is the Datsun 620. This is the one. A very cool car here. Surf and turf. I believe it's a Larry Wood design. Yeah, he, uh, he's retired, but he still does some work for Mattel, coming up with some cool stuff. 
So you have, hey, this is interesting the way they did the tooling on this. This is the first one I've seen in person. Surf and turf, black plastic base. But if you notice, it has like a chrome bumper, chrome wheel in the back. So chrome interior, chrome motor. So it looks like uh, it has uh, the interior. Wow, the interior got a lot of parts. <laughs> I mean, the interior covers a lot of work on this model. Bumper, tire, interior, engine, front bumper. So they got a lot going on with just uh, so many parts. One for the base, one for that chrome part, and then the body. That's three parts. Oh, and then the window, the interior. Four parts. They did a little decoration on the surfboard. I like that fun, fun model, especially you know being here in Southern California. Kind of a, kind of symbolic of uh, beach culture here in California. Tesla Model X and Hot Wilder, like Rottweiler the dog, it has mixed wheels. You can see open wheel in the back, open hole five spoke in the back, and regular five spoke in the front. And this is one of those models that uh, it actually does something. Yeah, you have fun with them but you actually do something as well. You see it has the arrows that go up and down. This is another one of those cars to where, uh, look on the tire right here. My pencil's broken, but I'll show you right here. Look on the tire right there. It has that little black thing stuck to the tire. So when you roll your car, your little uh, Hotwiler, his mouth's gonna go up and down. See it moving? So this way when you play with your car, his mouth's gonna go chomp, 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 chomp. Kids are gonna love that. Probably some adults too. Why are you so far? Here you have the roller toaster. And I know I said that roller coaster a few times. Roller toaster. And another decoration, another color. Monta Racer. Hey, this time they gave it an X Racer's look. Last time it was, uh, as far as I can recall, it was silver chrome. Now they gave it an X Racer's look. You can see right through the body. This is, a, this is fun types of cars. See, X Racers. I told you. I didn't even have to look at the name. I just look at the car and I know it's an X Racers. Here you have 24 hours. A lot of people, a lot of kids liking that car coming back. Here's a, this, I like this car better. Here you have the 17 Ford GT in silver, second colorway. It was blue last year, and so now in 2017, it gets the silver coloration. Wow, blue was great. I think I, think I like the silver a little bit better. Looking good, looking fantastic. So you, for the Hot Wheels line now, you have the 17 Ford GT to collect, collect if you like, or you can actually have the uh, race version. This is the 2016 Ford GT race. This is one that they actually raced and won a tournament or competition. I don't know what you call it. Um, I don't, was it Le Mans? I forget. Does it stay on the car? I thought it was 24 hours of Le Mans. Could be wrong, but there you go. Uh, I like this one better. This one's just too flat, but eh, to each their own. You buy what you like. I buy what I like. Here you have Batmobile. Uh, I always call this one the high wing version. <laughs> I got to look up. I always have to look up which one this is because there's so many Batmobiles, and they're all called Batmobiles. Uh, I'll have to look that up. Oh, two samples. Let's see. Same colors. I don't see any different. Here is Tour de Fast. And if you're going to notice, there's actually uh, two colors. And now what Mattel's doing, uh, I don't have official information on this. If you notice, out of the same case, they have reversed colors. You have white body, blue, black base. Well, this one's black body, blue base. And so they reverse the colors. They even change the wheels. And apparently with this HW Digital Circuit Series, there's five cars in the series. Well, apparently you have collector number 194, and then this one, no collector number. So they're saying this is like an alternate color chase piece. So now you have super treasure hunts, pretty hard to find. Basic treasure hunts, which are in most cases, you know, not every case, but if there's a treasure hunt in here, it'll be one per case. But they're not in every case. I, I haven't even seen one yet. Might not get one this time either. And now you got these uh, chase pieces, supposedly, with alternate colors. Uh, these are not exclusive to any store. Uh, I think they're going to be found worldwide. I, I'm in the Race Grooves community, people have posted for uh, quite some time that they have been finding these. And pretty sure that they found them internationally as well, outside the USA. 
Uh, this might be the only color I really talk about. I don't know if it's a chase, you know, and what does chase mean? If it's not limited, it's really not a chase, but uh, anyways. Ford Shelby GT350R. Nice decorations. And here's another brand new model to the case. So not only did we have uh, this surf vehicle, mm, this one's not really a surf vehicle, is it? No, no surfboards. Could be out there on the surf. Volkswagen T2 pickup. Uh, this is the first time I've seen one in person as well. And when I've seen pictures, I'm not real big on it. Just uh, not a whole lot there. Just kind of squat. Yeah, it's a customized version. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. But let's just say the decorations are nice. It's all right as a design. Just mm, I like a little bit more to my vehicle. But yeah, this is a track time suggestions video, by the way. But the other thing I'd like, if you don't mind, have a conversation. What do you think of surf and turf? And what do you think of the T2 pickup? L I love this. This one, mm, meh. What do you guys think? Uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say about that. Rockster. This is the Easter decoration, holiday racers. So now all five of the holiday racers have been out. This is the last one. Even though it's four or five, the other ones uh, already came out. They don't necessarily come out in order. 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition. I've already talked about this in the other case. Beautiful release. Uh, you really should consider having this one in your collection if that's what you like. And brand new model. Just kidding. Pile driver. Come on. This one's been around a long time. He was out there. He was in the accelerators, right? Pile driver. That's where he was a new model in the accelerators. So since he was a new, mo new model outside the lineup, they can't call him a new model in the Hot Wheels Basics because he was a new model somewhere else, not here. Uh, this is a nice color for Crate Racer. Nice color. This is another one that has a function when you roll it. Xperia Motors. Mm, I, I don't know if the uh, Rottweiler was in the Xperia Motors line, technically, if that's what they called it. Uh, let's see. What did they call it? Street Beast. So Xperia Motors, the motor actually, same thing. When you roll it, the, 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 the engine goes, it rocks back and forth. So if you hear that noise, uh, you don't have a loose part. It's supposed to. That It rocks back and forth when you roll the vehicle. Like the color? Yeah, it's a fun model. I like the model, too, as a matter of fact. Another sample of the Datsun 620. Another Ducati Panigale. Uh, voltage spike. And CCM Country Club Muscle. Voltage spike. And I think, uh, did I pass this? No. I think this is the first time I've seen this color. Once again, X Racer Series. And this one, both the front and the, the, front and the rear spoilers can be pivoted so that you can flatten it out or lift it up like it is here so that it'll go through the loops. I like this car. Street Creeper looking great in these colors. It's like a spider, right? Check out the spider on there. Here you have the 69 Ford Torino Talladega in flames. Hmm. 70 Chevelle. 70 Chevy Chevelle. like that satin paint color. Looks good. Night burners. They used to have five packs that would come out with these colors, I think. Hey, it'd be cool if they came out one with two tone. What was the name of that two tone five pack? Uh, Duel. I forgot what it was. Hey, this is bluish. But I don't think it, I. I don't remember if this was in the case before this. This is J, so H would have been before this. There is no I. So there's blue, a uh, different color. Turbo Rooster. And it was for the year of the rooster when it came out in uh, red, but it still has the year of the rooster decorations right there on top of the vehicle. This is a new model. I do believe it was a 2017 new model, but this is not the first color. Here's another one, Super Chromes. Um, I wonder if Super Chromes, all of them are going to get the extra chrome on the tires. <laughs> it really pops, really looks fantastic. And there you have Rogue Hog. Remember this thing had a misspelling on the base a long time ago. Looks like I spelled it. While we're looking, there you go, KO6 base code. 
I always put that in the description. This way, it was produced the sixth week of 2017. So we just like to follow along with that. Sometimes when you find variations, you can track it down to the batch code when it happened, and then you know what variation you're looking for. I had a lot of graphics on this, HW race team. Well, I remember, I remember they got kind of wild with the graphics on the race teams. Here we go. Bone Shaker. Some of you guys playing video games, you know where this one came from. Yeah, not came from, but they have it over there in the for Forza Motorsports video game as well. Oh, it looks sweet. It looks fantastic. It looks just like this, as a matter of fact. It, to be honest, it looks better on the big screen. Uh, I like collecting the Bone Shaker, but when you see it on the big screen, it looks even better. Milano. That's from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, you guys enjoying that movie? We haven't had a chance to see it. My wife and I, we might see it this weekend, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And here is the Ford Focus RS. Uh, wheel variations, I forget. Uh, oh, uh, I know what it looks like. I forget the name of the wheel. But what we're, what we're looking at here is they both have the same. I don't remember if that's uh, correct or not. Uh, the variation 2013 SRT Viper this one uh, no metal fatigue over there and drift stuff tool again this was a treasure hunt earlier this year but this is not the treasure hunt version mm, tool again had I think it had the circle flame logo right there this is just a regular release it has a collector on top so you know it's a regular release but then again Next, let's move on. Train Storm. I like the colors. Really, I like the colors. Pretty cool. It kind of has a metallic uh, look in the paint on top in that bluish. This is the one <laughs> I was saying. Factory Fresh. This is not a factory car. This is customized. But oh, it's just kind of fresh as to the colors. Looks good in orange. I picked one up in the store. found one. So nice to have extras. Uh, license plates and tail decorations. Nothing on the side, nothing in the front. Nope, spend all money for graphics in the back. There you go. Two orange samples with a custom Datsun 240Z. I don't know if it says anything on the back. Nope. Got a, I usually stack my stuff uh, much more neater, but today got a little out of control. Here you have the <laughs> Baja Bone Shaker in teal. Tesla Model S, two samples in white. Here's another surf uh, vehicle. You have the Volkswagen Beetle. Tuned Volkswagen Beetle. El Viento. I always look at this one. It looks funny with it being open, that gap right there. And it looks like you can adjust it, and that's why it has that gap. But it makes it look funny because it has that uh, silver piece on top. 69 Camaro Z28. Two samples. Another tuned vehicle. This one's called Skull Crusher in the Fright Car series. There's his brains, black and orange. Nice color for Halloween. And two cars left. Uh, no basic treasure hunt, no super treasure hunt. Basic treasure hunt, I think, is Let's Go. And I think the Acura, I think an Acura. I didn't even see a regular Acura in this mix, but, uh, you know, assortments changed. So, D Muscle in blue. Another Chevy Blazer 4x4. Almost looked like it was missing windows. Nope, windows are there. And another D Muscle. Thank you very much for watching this Race Grooves case unboxing video. If you like, check out my Race Grooves weekend show and I follow up with questions from the videos of the week. Pick a few, feature some comments. Thank you for watching and happy collecting. Bye bye.